Now to a couple of names you've probably not heard of, Wang Jianlin and his company Wanda. Wang is a Chinese real estate and entertainment tycoon who's bought up the US film studio Legendary Entertainment for three and a half billion dollars. Now this is the studio behind the Batman movies, so it's no slouch in the movie business. Rob Reynolds has this report. Legendary Entertainment has produced several films that were major hits in China, like Godzilla and Pacific Rim. China is fast overtaking the U.S. as the biggest movie marketplace on earth, and Wanda's acquisition is the biggest move yet by a Chinese company into the U.S. entertainment industry. I think it's a very good acquisition for both Legendary and uh, Wang Jianlin and, and Wanda because they're very complementary. Um, and it fills needs for both. This is one plank in a larger strategy to be a world-class company. Wanda is building what it says will be the world's largest film and TV studio complex in China and recently bought major movie theater chains in the U.S. and Australia. Company chairman Wang Jianlin, China's richest person, has close ties to the government in Beijing, but critics say it's unlikely that Legendary's roster of monster and giant robot flicks will be used to advance a political agenda. The head of Legendary, uh, Thomas Tull, has been quite, uh, he's been quite forward in, in his saying, he's already talked to filmmakers, he said it's not going to affect the product, it's not going to affect the way we do business, it's not going to affect our existing deals. Films in Legendary's pipeline include another remake of King Kong. Wanda's big move reflects not only the company's global ambitions, but China's desire to exercise soft power through entertainment and culture. Wang has said his goal is to take a dominant role in global media, controlling 20% of the global film market by 2020.